I'm here more or less each six months and I realize each time how much it's changing every time also in the luxury industry. I am now at the head of Panerai since uh, a little bit more than 18 months and I have the pleasure to tell you that the brand is so far in good shape. Um, we have uh, an acceleration of innovations and there is a motto, Labora Panerai, it's a laboratorio di day. So basically it requires from us to have on a very regular basis some launchings of new products, new materials, and new marketing. When it comes to Panerai, we love to speak about Laboratorio di Ide. And the second story we love is we are a brand which develops survival instruments for modern heroes. And we are not a brand which is actively after ambassadors. Um, but it happens that we have been the last couple of years very much associated to a couple of these people, and one of them is Mike Horn, who is an explorer, a South African explorer, who is the guy who is a big fan of Panerai since now more than 15 years. And Mike Horn, who is currently in the North Pole, and is always wearing his Panerai wherever he is, has spoken to me once upon a time about a famous Indian cricketer. And I have to acknowledge that a year ago, I was not very much skilled about cricket, which I have learned a little bit, despite I still have a lot to learn about that sport and how big is cricket here in India. Today, it's my great honor and great privilege to associate Panerai to one of the legends of cricket here in India, who is one of your best country ambassador. And when he is traveling abroad, and he spent a lot of time of traveling abroad, and it happens that he is a lover of Panerai. And um, I had the chance to meet with him for the very first time last April, 
I had the chance to see him playing. I had the chance to listen to him about Panerai. And I was a young CEO of the brand when I met with him for the first time. And I discovered that he was knowing more about Panerai than myself. Uh, he knows about the history. He knows about why he loves so much the brand. And when we first met, we discussed having no ideas together, what we could do together. The only thing we knew about that is that we wanted to develop a project together. And instead of speaking to you about who is he, because of course you probably have uh, foresee who is he, I invite you to discover, thanks to a movie, about this new partnership between Panerai and this Indian iconic legend. The way we are going to organize the coming uh, minutes will be a, a couple of questions that we have received from many different sources. And the very first one I would like to ask you, when we first met together, uh, with your family, it was uh, last April. The first question I ask you is, how can that be that you love so much watches? How do I love so many watches? Well, watches is something, the passion started around 2005. Before that, it used to be an instrument that tells me time. But after that, it became more about passion, the more I started to know about watches and also, the information that I got from some of the senior cricketers and then I realized you know it's a it's like a piece of jewelry not only for a lady but also for a man so that's how the passion started and over the years uh, it kept on growing on me and today I'm here and you know I'm I would say I'm very happy to be part of the Panerai family and it's it's a brand that I've known for more than 12 13 years now and I think one of the main reasons I would say is Mike Horn and uh, he was with us during the 2011 World Cup, he was on and off, he used to come and uh, he was the first person who actually saw in person wearing a Panerai and you know, that actually attracted me further and then I read more about Panerai and uh, the history that he had, uh, that Panerai had and how they started with making equipments for the Italian divers you know of the italian navy and from there on through the ups and downs and from the 90s now getting into the market in a big way and standing today very tall amongst the best manufacturers of watches in the world if if we remind us what when we first started i when i i met with you the beauty is that i didn't have to explain you the brand so because you were knowing as i've said uh, more panerai than myself because you had all the historical background of why why, when, and where you bought your first Panerai. It was very easy to develop the product with you because you already knew the constraints we have in our industry. And when you are not an active worker in our industry, sometimes you believe it's so easy to develop such a small piece of, uh, of metal. And uh, can you tell us a little bit when we first meet, and then it's, it's, it's up to you because you saw me for the very first time to say, okay, it, will it be complicated to work with, with Panerai and complicated to work with, with my team and myself? No, I think what uh, was very important for me was to understand the brand, to start off, uh, what the brand really starts, uh, stands for. And I always felt uh, different people have different words they use, you know, when they talk about Panerai. And I always felt Panerai was, has always been very bold, but at the same time, very comfortable in what it is mm -hmm. and what it has achieved. Mm -hmm. Not shy to accept the fact that yes, we have gone through the ups and downs, yes. but also at the same time in the last 10 years or 15 years, the way we have kept innovating, you know, whether we talk about the BMG, whether it's a titanium that we have used, all the, or the kind of uh, rose gold that we use in our watches. Uh, but when, when we talk about making my limited edition with Panerai, I, I, I always knew what is, what will be acceptable with Panerai, what won't be acceptable with Panerai. So we floated a lot of ideas and I was very comfortable and, and it was very easy actually to design the watch. Yeah. You know, there were only a few things that I wanted, you know, green dial was one of the main things and we on incorporated a few numbers, you know, seven being one of the most important, not because it is my lucky number, I never said seven is my lucky number, but people think it's my lucky number. Uh, but born the 7th of July, so that was one of the main reasons. So, other than that, I felt it was very comfortable for me to pursue with everyone working with Panerai and 
I felt you know they came up with a great watch, and you know I'm very fortunate to have a limited edition on my name. Two two 